Now, you'll find in every strand beast a sort of backbone. And this backbone, it makes a circular movement, like this. And this circular movement is transformed into a walking movement written down a pencil. And you see, as soon as the pencil is on the ground, it draws more or less a straight line. And that means that the animal, it stays on the same level. So it doesn't toss up and down like we all do. No, strand beasts, they always walk and they stay on the same level. And that's because of the shape of this curve with the flat bottom. Now, this shape of this curve is very much depending on the length of the tubes between the backbone and the pencil. If you have another proportion of length, you get a totally different curve down there. And when I started this, I didn't know which proportion of length I needed to get this curve here with the flat bottom. That's why I wrote a computer program for an Atari computer in 1990, a long time ago. And this computer could generate a curve with a given proportion of length. Now, you think that would be the solution, but there are so many possibilities that if the computer would let pass all the possibilities, it would be on for a hundred thousand years. That's why I needed the principle of evolution. Evolution doesn't come up with a solution which is most optimal, but you come there fast. Now, there were born 1500 legs like this in the computer and all these legs had different lengths of tubes so you also get 1500 different curves and none of these curves is this curve the chance is very small but there are some of these curves and they have a, s a certain resemblance so they have a slightly flat bottom and those those legs, they get the privilege to stay alive and they get the privilege to multiply. That means that the tubes, they are copied and reassembled to 1500 new combinations. So you could see this as the children of the selection. Now this process of selection and reproduction went on for months, day and night, and in the end there came out 13 numbers out of the computer. And those are the numbers which determine this curve. And the strand bees, they walk, in fact, already almost 30 years on a proportion of numbers. And you could see this as the genetic code of the strand beasts.